Hi guys, welcome to another uh, wonderful episode in this particular case. Uh, I am visiting again uh, the Diesel Pro Power and uh, I am talking with uh, Mr. Uh, Cesar, Cesar Flores. And uh, now in this uh, episode, we are going to talk with a lot of details about the, the mechanical tachometers and how to install the mechanical tachometers, the components, the cable, the reducers, the connector, the pump, all the parts uh, Cesar is a great, great, great instructor to ex explain that procedure. We are going to talk about the tachometers, what is the difference between tachometer right side, uh, left side, in what situations are used, in what type of engines, where should be connected the tachometer, in some cases is it directly in the unit, uh, in, in the blower, in the, in the gear of the camshaft, depending depending of the engine depending of uh, the situation uh, the cable should be connected in a different place uh, thank you Cesar thank you for uh, inviting me today and uh, thank you for this uh, conversation about tachometers uh, what is the main uh, difference in between uh, right side tachometers and left side tachometers well well then hi guys uh, thanks Mr. Lopez for okay. stopping by again uh, yeah well then these uh, mechanical tachometers, uh, they were made specifically for Detroit diesel engines. However, they can be used on many different engines as long as you want a Not mechanical Not only Detroit. Rig. Not only Detroit. Yeah, you can use it on Cummins, uh, you can use it on A55 Cummins engines. I've seen them on 6PT engines as well. And on Caterpillar too, you know, most of the Caterpillars you can have a mechanical reading. Oh, that's, that's, in, that's important. And John Deere's and etc. Many lot different of, engines. A lot of as engines. long as you need or want a mechanical reading of the RPMs, you can install these uh, tachometers. Um, however, uh, there's two different uh, type of tachometers like you mentioned. And, you know, we have right hand and left hand. Right. And since left they hand. were made for specifically at the beginning actually. For Detroit diesel engines, uh, two cycle engines like 53 series, 71s, 92s, uh -huh. and 149 series. Um, these are two cycle engines. The they were built for marine applications, some of them. And uh, in marine applications, they built uh, or they were the only ones they built. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, left hand and right, right hand rotation engines. That's correct, that's correct. Mm -hmm. So uh, the main reason of that is because of there, some boats requires two propulsion engines as you can probably seen before in Mr. In Lopez's classes. Videos. And uh, the, the mechanical readings, you cannot alternate the readings of the engines. So for that reason, you have left hand and right hand engines. For Cummins and Caterpillars and many other engines, you can only use a, a right-hand tachometer. Mm -hmm. But for Detroit Diesel, so, sometimes you use the left-hand tachometer. And right hand. Okay, uh, what are the components? Well then, yes, um, mechanical is, is a very simple process. Uh, main function of the uh, analog mechanical gauge is read the RPMs directly from the engine. Since the engine has different connections, you can have different accessories. So, uh, for example, of course, you're going to have mechanical tachometer, mechanical cable, the angle drives for the, mechanic, for the mechanical cables, and connections and shaft and fittings for it, as you can see. And this is a reducer, no? Yeah, that's correct. You know, pretty much, you know, it's a tachometer drive. Uh, it is, uh, the main function is to reduce the RPMs on the cable. So you can prevent damage to the cable. So I'll just to give you an example, you know, if uh, the engine is going, for example, 2300 or 2200 RPMs, uh, the cable might burn itself. Or okay. if you connect it to different parts of the engines, for example, if In you the blower, no? Yeah, exactly. The accessory drive or the blower, sometimes uh, they call them superchargers too and, and some applications. Yeah, some superchargers. And uh, they, the blower spins almost sometimes four times than the actual RPMs of the engine. So if the cable spin that amount of times, it will burn or it will break or damage. So what it, the main function of the reducer or angle drive, what it does is just reduce the amount of RPMs, depends on where you're connecting it. So it, the cable won't spin that much times and the tachometer will read the correct amounts. So tachometers at the same time, the, the uh, angle drive, they have the uh, reduction or ratio. So tachometers also have ratios too. Yeah, oh, that's great. 
and, uh, and uh, the final uh, uh, component is the pump, no? Yes, um, on two cycle engines, as many of have been familiar with uh, Detroit diesel Detroit engines, diesel. Uh, they work with uh, hydraulics pumps. You know, hydraulics pump. There's two types. You know, there's one that is made out of aluminum, like this one, and there's another one that is made of cast iron. Cast iron. Yeah. Both of them, they are installed directly the accessory drive or the blower drive. As I mentioned already, the blower spins many times, many more times than the than four the times. actual. Yeah, sometimes four times. Yes. So um, since the the pump, it is connected directly where the angle drive should be connected we definitely you know have different options we have an adapter we have a, a shaft and we have the angle drive this angle, angle drive, drive the pump will turn four times but this angle drive will reduce the amount of the pump spinnings or rpms and to one so when it gets to the tachometer you will have a tachometer mm -hmm. that will get the reduction and different tachometers they have different reduction like this one is a two to one so this one will reach the correct amount of rpm of the engines because of the angle drive will reduce the amount of turns on the cable and the tachometer is already built in or made with some gears to make the proper adjustment so it can read the right the right rpms pretty much that's what it is the main function of the uh, of the angle drives and uh, that uh, it, the main reason you have different ratios on that. In some cases, it's connected in the gear of the cam shaft, no? Yes, correct. Um, there's different mountings on these pumps. On these, I'm sorry, on these tachometers. All right, um, you can you can use it a direct mounting. Uh, for example, like uh, when you see, when you have uh, uh, power units or when you're using agriculture or yeah, even generators. John Deere. So. Yeah, John Deere too. So. Um, you have direct mounting, so you're going to have a bracket where the tachometer it will be installed directly to a bracket, and you will need like a, a shaft or or uh, built-in shaft. They have both connection, one connection for the for for the cam shaft that is going to be inserted into the cam shaft, and you can install this one into the into the into yeah. this drive this is the and adapter exactly this is the adapter and this shaft it will connect directly in, in the cable in, in no oh, into in, the in, in the unit into the unit of which is the um, mechanical tachometer however sometimes you know you're using the marine applications and uh, this is going to have the same connection in the camshaft mm -hmm. but definitely you're going to need um uh, you're going to need a cable because you want to install the, uh, the tachometer in, in another place, like a flying bridge, or you have you can, you want to have it uh, separated from the engine. Mm -hmm. uh, and you use an angle drive too, you know. So uh, this goes in the camshaft. You use a different shaft like this one, like this one, and a different shaft. It goes inserted into the, in, into the adapter. And then you connect the angle drive if you want to use a redu the reduction. And then you connect the cable to it, and the other end of the cable, it goes directly the instrument into it. in other place. Correct. Ah, and that means that uh, you supply different length of cables. That's right. Yes. Uh, since they are mechanical cables, there's so many lengths they can be provided. We provide from five feet all the way to thirty feet. We don't do bigger cables like uh, we can make them a special mate, mm -hmm. but uh, it's no guarantee because uh, they're if they are too long, you know the reading might not be accurate. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, is possible to uh, extend this cable with other one and a special adapter in between? Uh, we don't recommend that. That's why we make different lengths. You know, yeah. if you need uh -huh. a different lengths all the way up to 30 feet, we, we can provide it to you. Uh, we don't recommend connecting cables with adapters, with adapters. because uh, um, it will reduce the, uh, pretty much the exact reading, the accurate reading. And uh, I suppose uh, that uh, the enemy is the humidity. Uh, those uh, terminals should be tighter properly uh, to avoid the introduction of uh, humidity, no? That's right, yeah. We build these cables uh, in-house. We do have all the supplies and material to build them. And we also use uh, a special silicon grease uh, okay. to prevent damage into the cable. However, you know, if uh, they are exposed, like you mentioned, you know, to very bad environments, like if you don't tie it properly, you can uh, also um, put yourself in a position that it's going to be not right because uh, it will it will create damage to the cable directly. Oh, great. And uh, what about the radius, the bended radius? 
uh, is you have a special recommendation about that or uh, or no? Radius or what do you mean? And how you bend it, the cable? What is the maximum radius that uh, you can bend it, those cables? Uh, we don't recommend to ra to bend the cable at all. As uh, straight as possible. Uh, yes, as straight, straight as possible. Yeah, you can use some curves and everything, but uh, like uh, no, not bend it that much because actually this is going to be turning and you don't want to create additional friction oh, than what correct, is already happening. Correct, correct. Oh, mm -hmm. that's, that's important, guys. Uh, yeah, because you, you, you create resistance. And, uh, and probably you, you, you damage the cable, no? Yes. Okay, we are going to simulate the installation uh, uh, in between uh, the, uh, the tachometer and the pump. Uh, okay, uh, Cesar, please. Yeah, sure. Uh, it's a very simple process, you know, like, the, um, like I mentioned it to you before, but then the pump typically is going to have a shaft that we supply mm -hmm. in our website, you can see it, and the shaft goes inserted into the pump. And then uh, we're going to have an adapter that can be installed on the pump. And, and uh, in that way, you can you'll be able to install the uh, the angle drive. Mm -hmm. Second, well, this has to be pressed in, but we're just gonna simulate it right now. Sorry for the trouble, guys. All right, and this is goes uh, connected there, and then we can insert and connect the angle drive, the angle drive okay. directly into the into the units. Correct. So then we install the cable the cable and the other end goes directly into the tachometer into the tachometer mm -hmm. um, and uh, after that uh, yeah that's it yes right of course this bracket over here is what is holding the tachometer against any any panel or a metal that you want to put it on and also you have here you have the this connection which is for the light bulbs okay for the light bulbs so okay. you can connect the plastic cover and you can connect the wire so you can install the light to the ignition cable guys the purple cable yes and uh, you have a uh, uh, the, the instrument with the light Ah, that's a great connection. It's too simple, Cesar. Very simple, very straightforward. Very simple. The only thing you need to know, you know, determine the ratio because it depends on what connection, where you're going to connect the angle drive or where you're going to read the RPMs of the engine. And uh, we do have specials, uh, special guys, you know, that can uh, help you with that. Just give us a call or you can just simply visit our website. You'll see our instructions there, you know, for installation on the tachometers and we can assist you as well over the phone. Right? This is great, guys. Uh, if uh, you have uh, more question about this installation, you can co uh, a call to the, the help desk or, of uh, Diesel Pro Power or a consult at dieselpropower.com or at mrlopezclasset.com. Uh, Cesar, thank you. Thank you very much. This is a great explanation. Uh, it's simple. Uh, I love it, this, this type of explanation. I receive a, a hundred of phone calls and emails asking about the installation of the mechanical tachometers. We are going to create uh, other videos uh, for the electrical tachometer and uh, the, the gauge, additional gauge that uh, Diesel Pro Power produce and distributes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by.